This is a report of the Motocross the Nations, which was held last September 15th in Holland. 25 nations brought out their three best riders to compete. Previous winners in 1985 till 1996 time it was the USA in different locations, different circuits in Europe and the USA. Last year the United States won. Before Belgium, third was Sweden, fourth Italy and fifth the Netherlands. The Netherlands being the host country this time of the motocross the nations. Next year the competition will be held in Australia, Western Australia to be more precisely. 25,000 motocross enthusiasts came through the gates and for them this was the start of the event. A very folkloristic event, Vendel Swayen, cold in Holland. The United States, they are here with Kidrowski, with Stanton and with Damon Bradshaw. Belgium, left, it is uh, Manik Barefoot, Dirk Heukens and Steven Everts, the world champion. Sweden, third last year. Fourth, Great Britain. They're missing Thorpe, the twice world champion. And then the Netherlands. Of course, one of the favorites today because of the sandy track. Germany with Diepold, Jasinski. Denmark brought out their three top riders, among them Nielsen and Mortensen. And then the Japanese with the youngest rider ever, 16 years of age. This is John van der Berg, twice world champion, and he's gonna give us a little view on how the circuit looks like when you are racing. The circuit of Falkenswart, which is located in the south of Holland. And don't forget to take your seasick pills. Many deep ruts, many jumps. And this will be a very, very hard competition for machine, and human being. In practice, the Americans, the Dutch and the Belgians were fastest. So it will be a close competition. We speak with Kidrowski, one of the USA members. He rides the 125cc machine. You have seen the track yesterday. What do you think about it? Um, it's pretty good. I like the sand. It's starting to get a little bit rougher, and uh, I think it's going to be a pretty good race, you know, for everybody this, today on Sunday. Everybody is expecting uh, a fight between you and Stefan Evers. What are you expecting about it? I think it's, you know, it's going to be a race against me and probably a few other guys. You know, it it depends. You know, we might not even see each other through the whole moto, or we might be right behind each other. It depends how the 500s do, or you know, the 250s do. You know, if there's some guys in between us, but uh, you know, there's there's some other guys that are going really fast too. You know, he's not the only one we need to worry about. What think you can you stay on Everton? This is Pedro uh, Trachter, the Dutch champion, third in the, the world the championship. The Does he think he can beat Everts, the world champion yeah, from Belgium? And Pedro thinks he can do it. Yeah, we done the best is. And Mike Kidrowski, what do you think about And what does he think about Kidrowski? Uh, Kidrowski is also a very good rider, also in the sand. And, uh, he is good in the uh, sand. Yesterday he was two seconds slower than me. But he was but in practice two seconds slower. I think that he is good in the start, that he can also good in the But the start is decisive. What do you think of the circuit? Uh, I find it a practical circuit. Uh, and then the world champion, uh, Steven Evers. He loves and, uh, it. I think that he will make a good start today for the overwinning. And you can see in his face that he thinks that he is well, the favorite. The he thinks and, uh, the Dutch and the Americans will be uh, the teams to beat. You have been on the track now. What do you think about it? Um, the track's very. It's very hard for the English riders, but I think we're all coping very well. It's um, pretty deep sand. Um, it's very rough, but um, it's quite technical also. What do you expect for the British team? I think we all expect to have have a good result. There are so many strong teams here that I think um, 
if we finish in the top four, then we've done very well. But obviously, we'd like to be in the top three. So we, we're trying for top three. And then the German ah, champion. He likes the track. And he thinks that the Germans will do well today. Is that good for you, the sand? Ja, ich habe normalerweise immer Probleme gehabt in Sand, aber ich glaube, dieses Mal haben wir... He has had many problems in the Sand, but the track is a little bit special and he thinks he'll do well. Was denken Sie für jede Team von Deutschland? Ja, ich denke, dass wir vielleicht unter den ersten sechs sind. He hopes to be with the six first teams, the Germans. Dritter oder vierter? You have seen the track yesterday, what do you think about it? Flying fin, Pekka Vekkonen. Really they have uh, put a lot of water on us, uh, many spores on us, uh, fast, it's not so easy. What do you think for uh, your country, what place can you make? I think we have good chance, you know, in Finnish riders are good in sand and uh, now this year uh, we have a strong team. Uh, we try to get top three. Now so, for yourself, what place full do of you hopes. think you can make? Uh, I, I think uh, I try to make first place, but it's not so easy. But I think if everything is going well, start, I, I can maybe chance to do it. So the 500 CC riders are on the front line. And then on the second line, it's the 125 CC riders. So two riders per nation. The coaches can decide who they want to be on the first line, but most of the coaches took the 500 cc bikes there, of course, they are faster away from the starting gate than the 125 cc colleagues. With two classes you will have two results and three motos all together will bring six results. And it is from Sweden with number seven, Marcus Hansen, who takes the lead. And that's a surprise. And where are the uh, Dutch and the Americans? The Dutch are pretty good away with Gert-Jan van Doorn, number 14, on the 500cc. Normally he rides at 250. He has number 14. Behind him, number 4, Geukens. And then two places behind them, it is the American, Jeff Stanton. So the Dutch from the favorite teams are leading the 500cc class. But of course, also important are the riders in the 125cc class. Marcus Hansen takes the lead. Behind him, Roland Diepold with number 23 from Germany. And then Van Dorn there in fourth position. At the back wheel of number 29, Kurt Lundqvist from Finland. So it's Sweden, Germany, then Finland, then Holland. And then it is number 17, Paul Marlin from Great Britain, who takes fifth position. We can see this again. So on the left side it's Van Dorn and on the inside it is Paul Marlin and then Jeff Stanton who overtakes there Dirk Geugens from Belgium. Geugens also a very good rider so Stanton is moving forwards. But then where is the first 1 to 5 to see rider number 6 there and that is Stefan Everts in 10th position. Everts the first 1 to 5 cc rider. Deep hold. Then Van Dorn in third position. Now we go back to the leaderboard, then Marlin, and then number one, Jeff Stanton. But before these riders, you will have the number seven, which is Marcus Hansen. Dirk Geugens here in seventh position, the Belgium 500cc rider. And with Stefan Everts right behind him, the 125cc rider, Belgium is already coming forward in the classifications, it looked like. So Sweden is leading the 500cc class. That was Marcus Hansen. And then behind him, it is Gert-Jan van Dorn. So Holland already in second position. Then Deep Holt, that is the German. And behind him, it is number one and then number 17. No 17, Paul Marlin comes back. He is from Great Britain. So Great Britain is fourth in the 500cc and the USA is fifth. You can see it again in this long shot. So Hansen is first, Sweden. Then from Holland in second position, number 14, Van Dorn. And then behind him, it is Paul Marlin already, number 17 here in third position. And the American, Jeff Stanton, in fourth position. 
And then in seventh position, the Belgians. Britain before the USA. Third and fourth they are. Germany's dropped back to fifth and uh, Finland to sixth position. But then the one, two, five, you see, in the middle of your screen, with the uh, red and yellow, it is Stefan A. That's the world champion this year on the 125cc class. And he is really doing well. In 10th position already. Overall, but leading the 125cc class. Now this is the leader overall and, of course, at the same time, the 500cc class. Then we're waiting for Van Dorn. No, it is Marlin who comes through. And then it is uh, with number one, Stanton, the American. So Britain is already second. USA is third and Holland dropped back from second till fourth position. Very strong rider, the men with number one. We can see that later. Number seven. That is Marcus Hansen. He is leading. And we wait for the man behind him. Van Dorn in fourth position from Holland. And one of the uh, lower numbers, 34. Jure Lohmann from Luxembourg is already retiring. And then the attack for first position. Marcus Hansen very closely followed by Paul Marlin. Paul Marlin who did so well in the 500cc class in the World Championship this year. But Hansen normally rides the 250, so it's a big surprise here. The Swede is still leading. But watch in the back there. It is Jeff Stanton, the 250cc champion of the USA, who goes on the outside and takes the lead. A fantastic maneuver there from third to first. Jeff Stanton on the Honda. And again, we have to point out it's remarkable that the 250cc riders are suddenly doing so well in the 500cc class. So Stenton normally rides a 250, he is leading. Behind him, with number 17, it is Paul Marlin from England. And then another 250cc rider, number 7, Marcus Hansen from Sweden. And another 250cc rider, who now is on a 500 machine, is number 14, Get John van Doorn from Holland. Here he is, number 14. Normally he races the 250s. He's overtaking some of the slower riders already. So the Dutch in fourth position and the Belgians in fifth position. Geukens is slowly coming back. And then Paul Marlin falls down. He was in second position. So where is Hansen? Some riders point to the outside. There is Marcus Hansen. So he regains second position. And poor Marlin has a problem getting his bike started. We're nearly 20 minutes away. And then with number six there, Steven Averts on the Suzuki. David Averts, the world champion. So number four is chasing the number 14, the Belgium team. But we are waiting, of course, for young Averts. How far can he get ahead of the other riders? And then we see another surprise, then number 17 from England, Paul Marlin, in fourth position, followed by Dirk Huygens. So Marcus Hansen there with number seven, he is in second position. Behind him, it is the Dutchman. Dutchman, Gert-Jan van Doorn with number 14. But the leader is this man with number one, Jeff Stanton. And Jeff Stanton, he takes the checkered flag. And then we're waiting for the man in second position. That was Marcus Hansen, third van Doorn, fourth Paul Marlin, and fifth Dirk Huygens. That is the 500cc classification. And because of the first place of Stenton in the 500 and the fourth of Kidrowski, they are in first position equal with the Dutch who took a second and a third position at the finish line. Stenton on his back is happy. Um, it, went, it went okay. I mean... Bad start, not so good start, but came through and got in the front and, you know, did what I could. No difficulties on the, on the way in the heat? I mean, there's always a little difficult, but not so bad. 
And then, together with the um, spectators, we have to wait for the second motor, which we will screen later, after the messages, which will be um, given by some of the um, stations which do have commercial television. We're back in Falkensmart for the second motor, and this time it will be the 250 and the 125cc motorcycles. Who will race the second motor? In the front line, most of the uh, 250cc bikes, and again, the uh, 125s behind them. With number 11 there on the front row, it is world champion Alexandro Puzar from Italy. He was uh, world champion last year. This year it was Travis Parker from the USA, but he is not racing because the USA decided to send out Damon Bradshaw with number two to uh, fight for their colors. It is number eight who takes the lead. Again a sweet and again a surprise. Peter Johansson for in the World Championship this year. So he takes the lead. But not for long because after the first real bend it is number 30, Pekka Fekkonen from Finland. And then Manik Barefoots we saw there with number five from Belgium. And then on the right side there with number six, Steven Avers, the world champion, who won the one first heat for the 125cc. So this is a very difficult race for the 125cc riders who have been racing and only were allowed 45 minutes to rest. Damon Bradshaw comes through to third position there, the number two from America. And the Americans are quite confident. There is Damon Bradshaw with number two. But there are still riders in front of him. Yes, number 11, Alessandro Puzar. Then 8 and 15, Edwin Avidson from Holland in fifth position, and he falls down. The Dutchman goes down. The Dutchman, one of the favorites for this race. And let's see, there is Avidson who passes him on the 1 to 5 to see. Pedro Trachter from Holland on the 1 to 5 to see, very close with him. Pekka Vekkonen from Finland is leading. On the right side it is Puzar, but he's in third because Damon Breccio comes through to second position. So Breccio lives up to the expectations. Vekkonen, then Breccio, and behind him it is Alessandro Puzar from Italy. So the Dutch and the Belgians are missing. Maybe we can see better at this shot where they are. There is Sweden, and then Belgium in fifth position, Marnik Berfoots. And the Dutchman, Edwin Avidsen, he fell down as we have seen. In seventh position, great deck for Australia. And then there is already, with number six, Avers, who is already in tenth position overall, and behind him, two riders behind him, it's Kidrovsky, and behind Kidrovsky, it is the Dutch rider, Trachter. This is the Swedish rider, number nine, Carlson, but at the end of the pack, of course, there's a lot of riders who are not really used to send riding, like these people are. Most of them are the men who are doing so well in the World Championship. Barefoots there comes through to Johansson. Barefoots, who was fifth in the World Championship, now fourth in the race, and behind him, Johansson, the Swede, who was fourth in the world championship now in fifth position Fekonen just out of the screen for Finland in the lead then it is Damon Bradshaw and then we see Alessandro Puzar Puzar followed by Barnik Barefoots from Belgium Johansson from Sweden and then number 36 Jan Gedar from France then on the right side it is Avertsen the world champion and leader in the 1 to 5 cc Three places behind him there, number 15, the man who fell for Holland, Edwin Avertsen on the 250cc machine. And right behind him, it is number three for the United States, it is Kidrovsky. So Avertsen should do well on this track, and we see if he can make this lost ground up. But in front of him are the best riders of the world, like Fekkonen with number 30, and Bradshaw with number two from the USA. Bradshaw closing the gap. And then it's Barnik Barefoots already in third position. Belgium moves to third position. He's, he's overtaken the Italian Alessandro Puzar, the world champion from last year. And Barefoots is doing well. So Belgium right behind the United States. 
in the 250cc class. And we explain this to you. There's another fight for the 125cc class. Bradshaw at the back wheel there of number 30. Finish. Pekka Vekkonen. Already three years he was second in the world championship. Never made it to world champion. But definitely one of the best riders in the world. Pekka Vekkonen with number 30. And Bradshaw cannot overtake him. Bradshaw. Really doing well here. On his Yamaha. The same like Vekkonen. And then there is the attack from Bradshaw. Goes to the outside, but no, no, no. Very late breaking there of the Finn. He keeps second position. So the American has to be satisfied with the second spot. And behind them should then come number five. Manik Barefoots from Belgium. We see the flags already waving. So he can't be very far away. Vekkonen and Kidrowski. And there is Barefoots. Oh, what a fantastic ride from this Belgium rider. And then it is Puzar and then Peter Johansson. Some of the finest motocross riders here together, five of them at this track in Volkenswart. 25,000 spectators around it. And Vekkonen still holds the lead. Already a battle for several laps. Vekkonen, Bradshaw, and then very close by now, indeed the number five there, Manik Barefoots. What a sight to see. And there is Bradshaw, he is through, he takes the lead. Bradshaw takes the lead, the American. The Finn in second position, and then Manik Barefoots. They come to the hairpin. All of them cleaned their glasses. Look at the different riding styles. Puzar still in fourth position. And look at the 1 to 5 CC. Here is Averts. Behind him still the Dutch on the 250. But where is Kidrowski? Nowhere to be seen. And then Barefoots. He'll be going there for the Finn. And you can hear the spectators. Many Belgian motocross fans came to Falkenswaard, of course, it's not too far away. Last year the Belgians were second. Will they be able to beat the Americans this time? Barefoots there. Takes the inside line, no. Vekkonen is a tough customer. And then the long straight, where it is possible to overtake. Yes, Barefoots. Opens up, goes to the inside, very clever move. And he will be on the inside of the corner now. And indeed he takes second position. Vekkonen is third, Huzar is fourth. But the American is still leading. But the Belgium team now have a first place in the 1-5 to CC with number six. We should be coming soon. Steven Everts. And they have second position for Manik Barefoots. And then Puzar. At the back wheel there, already of Vekkonen. So Vekkonen led for a very long time, nearly 20 of the 30 minutes of this heat. But he's now in third position and chased there by the Italian. Puzar with number 11. Very difficult to overtake at this part of the track. His best bid will be when they go down turn right and then they have the left turn and then the long straight that's where Barefoots overtook and also Damon Bretcher overtook so there is Puzar see what he learned from Barefoots yes he also takes the inside line and is through so Alessandro Puzar on the Suzuki he is in third position Vekkonen is fourth and behind him it's the sweet Peter Johansson in fifth position But America is still leading. Bradshaw. 20 meters behind him. It is Manik Barefoots from Belgium.
and then number three number four and number five in this race very close racing and a lot of excitement here for the spectators Peter Jonsson fifth from Sweden his teammate is not doing too bad Joachim Carlsen these are the leaders Puzar takes some distance from Vekkonen and Hansen is, Johansson now is at the back wheel of Becca Vekkonen a Finn and a Swede two Nordic racers And then the attack from Johansson. No, too far away. Butzar a little bit in trouble. And Johansson still behind the fin. Who will be in sixth position? It is Godard from France. And then in eighth position already, the unlucky Dutchman who fell down, Edwin Evertsen. He really must have been motoring because there is Steven Evertsen and Steven Evertsen is leading the 125cc class. Number 24 behind him, Jochen Jasinski from Germany. But we wait for the second man in the 125cc class. It should be either number three, the American Kidrowski. Yes, he went through there. But right behind him there, one man between him, between them is number 16, Pedro Trachter, the Dutch champion. Fast man in practice. We go back to the lead of the 250s. It is America versus Belgium. Bradshaw nearly losing it. On the left side, the American Bradshaw. And then the man with number five, Monik Barefoot, right behind him. The Belgian rider, number five, had an operation at his lower arms because the blood didn't take away the poison which is coming when you're racing at this top level. So he opened up the skin of his muscles. He won the first Grand Prix this year, the 250cc in Holland. And at the end of the season, he's still in good shape. And then Kidrowski followed here by Pedro Trachter. So Pedro Trachter here in third position, right behind the American in second position. But this is the man who is leading the 125cc, Steven Averts. We go back to the 250cc. We hope that you can follow this. It is Breccio, number two, followed by number five, Manik Barefoots. So each of the 25 nations have one rider in the 250cc class and one rider in the 125cc class. They're racing at the same time. And here we see the lead for the 250s. Damon Bradshaw with number two from America. And number five, Manik Bervoets, the champion of Belgium. And there is the attack. Yes, Bervoets, very brave heart. Choose exactly the right moment. And Belgium is leading now the 250cc class before America. And the same applies for the 125cc class, where number six, Steven Everts, is leading before the number three, Kidrowski from America. We know it is exciting, and we're sorry. We're going for a break, but we'll be back with more action of this second moto of the Motocross the Nations in Valkenswaard, Holland. And we're back for the third part of our report of the Motocross the Nations 1991. This is the man who is in second position in the 1 to 5 CC class, Mike Kidrowski. In front of him, it is the number 6, David Aberts for Belgium, and behind him, it is number 16, Pedro Trachter from Holland. The battle in the 1 to 5 CC class. Aberts there on the back with number 6. And here is the battle for second position between the number 3 in the middle of the screen and behind him. The Dutch with number 16.
In the 250s, the Belgians are leading the Americans, and the Dutch are in approximately sixth position, while they were very far way back after the tumble which the number 15 of Holland, Edwin Avertsen, took. With number 46, one of the Japanese lighters, 16 years old, Takayo Okishima. We're in the last lap, and on the right side we see the leader of the race, number five, Marnik Barefoots from Belgium, followed by Ke Damon Bradshaw from the United States of America. But there is number six, and number three is right behind him. Steven Everts is followed there by Kidrovsky with only 20 meters between the two of them, and Pedro Trachter is not there anymore. The finish is there. Barefoots takes a win for Belgium. Behind him in second position, it is Damon Bradshaw. In third position, it must be Alexandra Puzar. Yes, with number 11, here he comes. And then in fourth position, Peter Johansson and Edwin Evertsen from Holland managed to get into fifth position. After he fell in the first lap. And the standings after four heats now is that Belgium is leading with eight points out of four results. The USA is second, Holland is third, and Sweden is fourth. The manager of the Belgium team, Johnny Strybos, he is very happy. They had three first places, twice for Everts and one for Barefoots. But there are two more races to go. So maybe Barefoots, the winner of the 250, will be too tired. So the Belgian coach is afraid that uh, number four Dirk Geukens is maybe too nervous because of the politics when he chooses the team. But he hopes it will be better. And this is the winner of the uh, second moto, Marnik Barefoot. Well, I followed the American and watched where he made the mistakes. He is known that he doesn't have a good condition, so I attacked at the end. And, yeah, I won. and he hopes he can do it again in the second motor, of course. World champion Steven Everts. Winner twice of the 125cc class on the Suzuki. He says only the best were able to keep the pace, and I was the best today. But if Belgium doesn't do well, he hopes that the Dutch will be the world champions in motocross. Because this is a world championship for the teams. Okay, we got the last race of the day. The participants are the 250s and the 500. Puzar again in first spot, behind him Bartolini with number 10. So the Italians are on the inside. The third moto, four seconds to go, and away they are. In the first two motos, the Swedes were the best starters. And it looks like it's again a Swede. Yes, number seven, Marcus Hansen. Like in the first moto, he is away fastest. Both Belgium riders are with the first ten. We will have their number four and number five, so they're with the first ten. And the Americans were not away so good. So this can be an exciting race. Leader is Hansen, and then we watch for the Belgians. Five, six, seven riders, no, no Belgians there. Something must have happened. Something must have happened. No, there is the second Dutch rider, and still no Belgium riders. And they definitely were with the first ten. Incredible, what has happened? Paul Marlin there, the Briton, here in fifth position. He overtakes Deep Hold, the German. Paul Marlin, who also did well in the first motor. Leading is the Swede, Marcus Hansen, normally on a 250cc bike in the World Championship, but here elected for his country to ride the 500. And Van Dorn, with number 14 in second position, number one is already in third position, which is the American. There is Avertsen with number 15, and still no Belgium riders. This must be 
heartbreaking for the Belgian fans. Van Dorn there in second position. And then it is one of the Danes, number 38. Followed by, and we shouldn't be surprised if this was, oh, number 30. It's Pekka Vekkonen. Vekkonen, and at his back wheel it is number 11, Putsar. So this is the leaders, these are the leaders, we should say, in a 250cc class. And Marnik Bervoet is way back. The men who won the first moto, so Sweden and Holland, they are away. And this could mean, since there's no Americans around, that Holland could become world champion, if they would keep it this way. Van Dorn there in second position, and also Avertsen is doing very, very well. He is with the third position of the 250 CCs. Well, we watch Paul Marlin there, number 17. This is the first American. Jeff Stanton with number one, but he is way back. He is nearly a quarter of a mile behind the leaders. Mortensen there from Denmark in third position, and then behind him it's the two 250 riders, Vekkonen and Kuzar. Third and fourth in this second moto in their respective class. And Van Dorn there in second position. He keeps the hope of the Dutch very high. But Marcus Hansen still leading for the Swedes, then the Dutch, then the Danish team. And then Jeff Stanton with number one. He didn't have a good start, had some sort of a fall. Will he be able to come back? We see the Dane made a little mistake there, and immediately Fekkonen came into third position at this race. And then with number two, we saw also Damon Bradshaw, the American on the 250, coming back. He's already in fifth position. And then the American on the 500 cc, Jeff Stanton, and no Belgians. Yes, they are there. Dirk Heuken, no, Manik Berfoots, of course, with number five. Where is Dirk Huygens? Barefoot, sixth in the 250cc class. Walter Bartolini on the four stroke for Italy. Dirk Huygens there, number four for Belgium. He fell for a second time. And this ruins definitely the hopes from the Belgians to become world champion. He will, of course, be flying, Kogens. And you can see the cheers of the Dutch for Van Dorn. This is hard racing. Another Dutchman in third position, Edwin Avertsen, there. And he's behind James Dopp, who's racing for England. James Dopp. He is third in the 250cc class at this third moto. And then Avertsen right behind him. Avertsen, who fell in the first moto and therefore ruined the chances for the Dutch team, although he became fifth after a breathtaking ride. Peter Johansson calls it a day. So Sweden will not be in such a good position as they were last year. And there Van Dorn, still second in the 500. He is chased there by the lighter 250cc machines. And the 250cc machines, of course, are better to handle in this um, in this heavy sand circuit so this is the man who's leading then it is Fekkonen, Van Dorn and Putzar behind them Dob and Avertsen so four riders on the 250cc machine with the first six in this race Putzar is third in this race, but he is second in the 250cc. And there is the attack from the flying fin, Vekkonen. He takes the inside. And he is not only first in the 250cc, he is also first in this motor. But remember, there's two different classifications, and Vekkonen nearly loses it there. Ooh, you must have a big heart to survive such a nearly crash. So Vekkonen is leading. 
Then it's the Swede, who's leading his 500cc class. And then behind him, the Italian Alessandro Puzar. He is third in this race, but he is second in the 250cc class. And then suddenly with number 15, third in the 250cc class, it is Evertsen, and then this is Van Dorn. So the two Dutch are now second in the 500 and third in the 250s. Puzar has overtaken Hansen, but that doesn't mean anything for the classification. And Bartolini there between them with number 10, but he is a lap rider. Evertsen there in third position on the 250s. And behind him, it's James Dodd. And behind them, it is the American Damon Bradshaw in fifth position. Here we see Avertsen, number 15. He has to try to overtake the number 11. The number 7 doesn't count for his class. And here we have the lead battle. Avertsen on the left side there comes on the inside of the Swede and now he will be able to go for the back wheel of Pekka Vekkonen who is second so Edwin Abelson third in the 250cc class and the leaders number 30 and number 11 Puzar still second and Vekkonen still first Vekkonen and Puzar and then behind him Abelson and James Dodd, another fallen rider, and it is harder to stay on the machines. It is definitely more difficult to stay on the machines. Van Dorn, second in the 500cc class. But where are the Americans? Here is Bradshaw, he is fifth in the 500cc class. But where is the number one, Jeff Stanton? And we see there that number 11 has overtaken number 30, so Puzar is leading. He's overtaken Vekkonen. And there the number 15, Avertsen on the right side. Behind him, James Dahl. Then it's the 500cc machines for Hansen and for Van Dorn. Number seven, the Swede. And the Dutchman right behind him. But you can see they are timing. The pace is tremendously high for these heavy machines. Takishi Tabuchi, one of the Japanese rider. Marlon helps him, and he goes down for a second time. He learns what it means to eat the sand. All the way from Japan. And the Japanese will definitely be one of the strong nations in motocross, not before too long. We'll see the finish of the race after the break in this program. So we're back in Falkenswart for the Motocross the Nations, the third and decisive motor. And we start with the riders in the 500cc class, number 14, on the right side of your screen, he just left the screen, is leading Van Dorn from Holland. He's just overtaking the number seven, Hansen, Marcus Hansen from Sweden. So the Dutch do have a first position now. The battle, however, for the championship is between the American team and the um, Belgian team. The Dutch are doing well in this moto, but they had a fifth place for Avertsen in the second moto, and that probably will cost them the championship. Avertsen, we see him here, is third in this last moto. Leader, we just see him leave there, is Alessandro Puzar from Italy. Second is number 30 for Finland, Pekka Fekkonen. And then it is the Dutchman, who is chased by James Dopp from England. But the Englishman is tiring. And then we see the battle for first position in the 500 cc. The Swede takes the inside, sweeps the Dutchman to the outside, and Marcus Hansen is leading. And then we saw number two there also, Damon Bradshaw, the American, who is in fifth position in the 250cc class. Here he is, Damon Bradshaw. He wasn't there from the beginning, but fought his way back. And another American there, Jeff Stanton, one of the last riders because he fell down after two laps, 
and he did a remarkable race. He is closing the gap between the leaders, so he has been overtaking more than 20 nations, the best riders of 20 nations in the 500cc class. Hansen there with number seven falls down. He was the leader, so now Van Dorn is the leader again. Bradshaw, the number two, is trying to come forward and score more points for the Americans. Hansen, he fell down, so he must be out of his rhythm. And in front of him, it is the American on a 250cc machine. But of course, more important for the standings, it is to know where is the man with number one, where is Jeff Stanton. Van Dorn is still leading. You see, he is having a problem because Damon Breccio overtakes him. Now, of course, it is easier to ride with a 250cc machine than with a 500. And there is Stanton. Stanton not too far behind, overtaking there the number 26, which is Søren Mortensen from Denmark, who was in third position of the 500cc. And Stanton storms through and comes there to Hansen, who had just fallen down and has a problem to keep the pace. Hansen there with a painful knee, which he hurt in practice, and he loses a position to Jeff Stanton. Only Van Dorn, the Dutchman with number 14, is in front of the American. Incredible race there of Jeff Stanton, already many times US Supercross and outdoor champion. Of course, this year he was beaten by Jean-Michel Bale in Supercross in the United States. Bale, the Frenchman, who beat the Americans on their home ground. Now, this is the leader of the 500cc class. This is the man who is in second position. And between them is the American with number one. There he is, Jeff Stanton. Fantastic race of this man. Hansen tries to keep up with the leaders, but it's impossible. And there is the attack from Stanton, and look how he takes the lead of the 500cc class. And this makes it sure for the Americans. They will win again this motocross the nations, because the Belgians are nowhere to be seen. In the meantime, Poutsard is leading the uh, 250cc class. But of course, that is not really important. Important is the battle between the Americans and the Americans. And there is with number two, Damon Bradshaw, followed by the number one. Damon Bradshaw going into the last lap. No, it is Pusar already who takes the checkered flag at the finish line. And there is Damon Bradshaw, followed by the number one, Jeff Stanton. Fekkonen finishes second in this moto in the 250s. Then it is the Dutchman, Avertsen, who comes in third. So Puzar only proves here that he is still a very good racer. But there on the right side, you can see Stanton, who overtook his teammate. And we see here that the first four are 250cc riders, and Jeff Stanton is the first 500cc rider. So after six motos, the USA should be world champion holland second and belgium third but everybody has to take five races into account so when we deduct the worst race out of the six races of each nation we can have a new standings and then we can see that america or belgium will be world champion the team manager from belgium strybos knows it already and behind him walks roger de costa he comes to his country fellow men and we see that indeed the USA takes the world championship again they win the motor across the nations before Belgium Holland Sweden and Great Britain a fantastic race day in Valken Zwaard. Goeie start, daarna iets teruggevallen, hoe ging het? Nou, ik start er twee achter uh, die zweet. Van Dorn en uh, Luc. Twee keer voorbij op een gegeven moment en hij heeft weer. He doesn't much life left in him after these two motos. He's given it all. En, uh, hij kon hem niet houden de laatste ronde. But then he said, Stanton was too strong for me. Wat voor gevoel had je toen je teamgenoot voorbij kwam? 
Nou, ik liet hem voorbij natuurlijk, want ik zat twee. Of ik zat er bijvoorbeeld één op dat moment. En, uh, ik, ik moest hem doorlaten, want dan kon hij natuurlijk zijn plaats nog verbeteren. En ik zat al goed. Voor de rest, eindresultaat? Nou, ik vind het wel goed. Jammer dat we niet gewonnen hebben. En so he is sad because he didn't win. Ben je een beetje kapot? Even Een beetje wel, ja. Also. Ik heb last van mijn handen. His hands Ging hurt rest. and depressed. Mensen hier, uh, He'd hoped to win, zo enthousiast allemaal, uh, but it was a third was place for dus, the Dutch uh, team. Een goede race gehad. Het is jammer dat we tweede zijn geworden, maar uh, toch wel uh, tevreden. Zwaar parcours? Heel erg zwaar. Ja, niet alleen de knippen, maar ook de zand erop. Het was een heel erg moeilijke track om te rijden, ook voor een Dutchman. Ik ben blij dat ik zo'n afgebracht zonder te vallen. Eerst maar so ik ben gevallen, dat mijn gas bleef hangen en uh, daarna is het eigenlijk beter gegaan. In de tweede moto ook wel. Uh, het ging niet uh, echt goed in de derde hit, slecht gestart. En dan de Belgians, uh, Dirk Geukens. Komen. Wat is je reactie hierop? Wat gebeurt ja, in de derde motor? Ja, we hadden wel een goede start, maar we zijn... Uh, ik ben uh, zijn links uitgekomen uh, en Manek heeft mij frontaal geraakt. En, en dan ik ging sideways en mijn teammate rode uh, straight uh, yeah. into me. Het was moeilijk voor dat recht te zetten. En dan we lost everything. So it's the Americans again who take here the trophy out of the hands from Mr. Josh Fazen from the FIM, the president of the FIM. But here they are, Damon Brechow on the left, Jeff Stanton in the middle and Mikey Drosky. They will have to defend their title next year in Australia. And we speak with Jeff Stanton. No, it wasn't. It came from way back, uh, just barely won. Did you have a very nervous start in the, in the third uh, heat? Uh, no, good start and crashed in the first lap, and then I crashed two more times after that. So, Stanton, as usually, not too happy. But the champagne was sweet after another.